It's time once again for that business show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ, where business becomes show business. Jamie is a leading Tampa Bay real estate agent and featured on the Wall Street Journal's list of top 100 real estate agents in the nation. Jamie invites you to list your home with him today and learn more at tampabayradio.com. Now, live in studio and promoting the entrepreneurial spirit that drives the American economy, your host, Jamie Maloney. Good morning. This is Jessica Ravelli, founder of Working Women of Tampa Bay, and I am filling in for Jamie Maloney on That Business Show. Jamie is uh, taking a much-needed rest after not feeling so well, and I am happy to be filling in for him and um, really thank him for the opportunity to be here in studio on this Working Women Wednesday with two of our amazing members, Sarah Bingham with uh, Fast Food Healing and uh, Haley Almquest. So we're going to get to that in just a second, but first I wanted to fill the listeners in on a, a great event that Working Women was a part of yesterday called Women with Impact that we had at the Yacht Starship docked right there at uh, Channel Side, and uh, our keynote speaker was Colleen Chapel, who is the chair of the Tampa Hillsborough EDC, phenomenal woman who really gave an amazing message about getting small businesses, women business owners, and millennials involved in economic development here in Tampa Bay. We always hear about, you know, trying to court these large companies from um, outside of the uh, Tampa Bay area and outside of Florida, like Amazon and some of the other awesome companies that have come in and supplied jobs here in the Tampa Bay area. But uh, Colleen gave a great message of that not only do we need to recruit these kind of uh, big companies to come in, but we also need to be focusing on uh, growing small business owners and women entrepreneurs and, and getting some great insight from the millennials as well, because they will be the next generation that that uh, comes up and is building companies within Tampa Bay. So we're really thankful to Colleen. And then we also had a phenomenal panel of Yvonne Fry, who's with the Plant City EDC, Rita Lohman, who is the uh, COO of C1 Bank. And we had uh, Kelly Flannery, president of the South Tampa Chamber, and Dale Gordon, who's with the Hillsborough Film Commission, who talked about how we, we are um, badly in need of incentives to bring um, fin- you know films here yeah, to the Tampa Bay films area. To Tampa has been a big deal for a long time now. Uh, I have a question for you, though. Sure, Josh. How does it feel to be a part of such a, you know, a great organization and all these really cool events? I mean, I don't think people realize that you're a pretty busy, uh, busy human being. <laughs> Well, thank you, and thank you for the kind words. Um, we do. We do up to 20 events a month, which I was yeah, explaining to yeah to Rick um, Tosada, who's here taking photos, who's here every morning and is a great partner of that business show, um, that, yeah, we do up to 20 events a month. And, um, I, you know, it keeps me going. I love meeting all these amazing women. We've met somewhere in the neighborhood of 6,000 women over what, the last seven really years. What's really incredible is that every show on Wednesday, you know them by first name, and you have a little bit of a bio that you actually you know you go through it on air how do you do that yeah well how do you remember all these <laughs> great people i you know i think um and this is like you know because a lot of people um have say that i'm amazing at remembering faces and remembering names and i think it's just a matter of that you really get to know people so our yeah. group is all about making deeper connections it's not just a group where you you know you share business cards and you move on and you put them in your rolodex and you maybe call on that person someday it's all about really getting to know people why did they start their businesses um, what makes them tick what are they passionate about I call it their soapbox so what makes them get on their soapbox and get angry or get passionate and so I think by learning what that is for people um, it helps me get to truly know them and then I can be a better referral for them which is ultimately ultimately my job as being the founder of working women and you do an amazing job about that and we learned something really cool this morning as a matter of fact you went to Hudson High so do my cousin and and you actually know her. Yeah, yeah. I'm a proud graduate of uh, the uh, of Hudson High School, Go Cobras, um, class of 1999. And um, and I did know Danielle or Danielle, Lenora, yeah. as she liked to go by. And um, yes, I have fond memories of my high, Hudson High School public education. <laughs> public education. And um, yeah, I still call West Pasco my home because my family lives up there. It's so a, It's a great area and it's really growing and really being built up and it's feeling the synergy of Tampa. There's a 
a lot going on there. If anyone's been down to Sims Park, it's completely different, and they have almost weekly events. So if anyone's looking to find a new spot, maybe raise their family, it's a great place to do it. We grew up there, and look, we're on the radio, so <laughs> it's not that bad. There you go. And uh, I'm the founder of Working Women in Tampa Bay, so amazing yeah. things come out of Pasco <laughs> County. Um, so thanks, Josh, for those great kind words. And, um, you know, I am just very pleased to partner with Jamie um, and, and be a part of that business show. I really feel like Jamie's mission um, with wanting to showcase amazing business owners like Sarah um, and Haley are um, is is perfect. It's, it's great that we have someone out in the community that is taken to the airwaves to be able to showcase small business owners and entrepreneurs. Captain America. <laughs> there you go. And That's hopefully he's resting and not listening right now. He he's should be sleeping. Listening. He's definitely listening. Yes. <laughs> I, I probably have text messages. I don't know. I haven't checked my phone. <laughs> we're going to get a call in at any moment. Uh, so we're going to go to a break in just a few minutes. But first, I want to mention, um, you know, want to bring Sarah in quickly just to tell me, Sarah, you are the founder of Fast Food Healing. You mentioned to me right before we went on air that you've got 30 plus years in the nutrition business. Before before we go any further, you have a lot of alphabets. <laughs> you have a lot of letters, rather, right after your name. Tell me a little bit about your education in nutrition and uh, what sets you apart from other dietitians. That's, a, that's an excellent question. I've got a master's degree in nutrition because I just got frustrated not, not knowing um, enough. So I do have a master's degree in nutrition. The CNS stands for Certified Nutrition Specialist. That's only for master's and PhDs in the field of clinical nutrition. And then I'm a licensed dietitian nutritionist in the state of Florida. So most people think of dietitians and they are the people that are in nursing homes and in hospitals running the food sources there. Um, they are typically just an undergraduate education and mostly in large food production, basically getting food out to masses of people. Clinical nutritionists tend to be one-on-one. -on -one. Um, that's my, my, uh, my life as a nutrition consultant has basically been one-on-one -on -one consultations. I've worked in uh, practices with holistic physicians and mostly one-on-one -on -one with myself. I, I am not a corporate person. Corporations move way too slowly for me. Uh, hospitals, nursing homes, all those are just institutions that just take too long to make change. So I love working with people who are ready to make change now and get it done. So that's, that's awesome. That's what I love doing. So why did you go through that extra education? What, you know, what lit you up inside that you wanted to continue on your educational path and get the master's and go further? I just have never stopped. I'm still learning. I'm an eternal seeker. Uh, so, so what is that? You know, I'll have a client say, okay, this is going on with me. And I'm going to research it and find out, okay, what is that all about? I sort of call myself your general contractor for wellness. If I can't figure it out, I know, you know, I, I network eternally with all of the other alternative holistic practitioners uh, to understand what they're doing. So if I know, for instance, in my intake, I'll ask if you've had head injuries. I know that if your neck is constricted in any way that's your that's your main line to the rest of your body and that can have a huge effect on your digestion etc so I, I look at all that stuff and yet yeah, learning is it just never stops wonderful well coming up after the break we're going to talk about if you're out there and you're not feeling well you're tired maybe you have some stomach issues you know a lot of people blame stress but it could be what you're eating right Sarah well, and you're making life way more difficult for yourself this is what totally ticks me off I see women just shooting themselves in the foot and the arm and the head and at all times with what they're putting in their mouth and you are making you're poisoning your children, sorry, but th it is true. And I'm, and that sounds very violent, but actually it is. So stay tuned and I'll tell you why, but you're also poisoning yourself. And so I am all about life, happy, fun, love, and feeling great. So if you feel good and you're eating good stuff, that's where it comes from. Wonderful. All right, stay right there. We're going to be back. This is That Business Show.
Savvy business owners utilize technology to connect with customers, communicate among teams, and collaborate with partners. Even with advances in technology, you all know it's not infallible. Where do you turn when your technology starts working against you? Who do you depend on to keep your team productive? Don't wait until your technology fails you. Get ahead of the crisis and contact the professionals at Alpha Computing Solutions so they can show you how to keep your technology running smoothly. Visit them online at www.alpha computing.com. Teresa Turner is a certified public accountant and the founder of Tax Happens, a boutique-style CPA firm providing small businesses and individuals with hands-on, personalized tax and accounting services. Although we would love to tell you how happy their clients are, we would like you to see for yourself. Tax Happens has 21 Google reviews and a 4.8 star Google rating, 17 Yelp reviews and a 5 star Yelp rating, 38 Facebook reviews and a 4.9 star Facebook rating. What sets Tax Happens apart is number one, upfront pricing, two, clear deadlines, three, personally available year round, and number four, a willingness to empower clients to do as much or as little as they desire. Visit TaxHappens.com for more information. Have you ever tried to buy a home for your family only to find out that you don't qualify for a mortgage loan? You thought that after 20 years as a customer of your bank, they would help you when you needed it the most, right? Unfortunately, the banks of today are not the banks of our parents and grandparents, and our relationships with them just don't matter anymore. My name is Frank Cotto, and I'm the president of the Lincoln Lending Group. We all may need a bank, but we also need a Frank, and that's what I'm here to do for you today. Lincoln Lending Group will waive all of your lending fees, which include your mortgage, application fee, your underwriting fee, processing fees, and any bank points. Just call 813-MORTGAGE. You drop the E, and we'll drop the fee. Tampa Bay weather is a roof killer. That's why when getting your roof done, you want it done right. Hi, I'm Jamie Maloney of That Business Show. When considering a new roof or repair, talk to Westfall Roofing. They've been installing high-quality roofs in Tampa Bay for over 25 years. Get a free, no-obligation estimate by calling 855-99-ROOFING. That's 855-99-ROOFING. Find out what already 15,000 satisfied customers already know. Call now, 855-99-ROOFING. In an age when the good and the better vie for attention, it is the best that stands out. The best of Tampa Bay from Proudly, Florida, is the love story for the city of Tampa. Celebrating success, sharing achievements, a tribute to enterprise, and community spirit. Let Proudly, Florida showcase your business to your city, your nation, and the world. For more information, email info at ProudlyFlorida.com and be sure to visit ProudlyFlorida.com. Are you in need of new flooring or ready to tackle that home remodeling project? Then contact Jaeger & Company Incorporated, a family-owned, state-certified general contracting business with over 70 years of experience and the recipient of the Angie's List Super Service Award for the last eight years in multiple categories. Jaeger & Company comes to you with their shop-at-home flooring sales service and their hardwood flooring refinishing is the very best in the Bay. Kitchen and bath design featuring American-made, well-born cabinets and all work is done by employees, not subcontractors. Learn more at JaegerFlooring.com. If you've been following that business show on Facebook and Twitter, you may have noticed the quality of some of our images. That's because one of our sponsors is pro photographer Rick Taseda, a member of the Professional Photographers of America. You can view his extensive work by going to his website at RickTaseda.com or call him for an appointment to chat about your photography needs at 813-641-4757. That's 813-641-4757. Four seven five seven. Rick Tosseda Visuals. Call him for your next event or project. From the Bright House Networks Traffic Center. Overturned vehicle on southbound I-75 blocking the left lane and the median. Just north of Sun City Center, we're also seeing delays in the northbound direction at this location. Crash in Tampa, southbound 56th Street, approaching Sly over in Pinellas County, one on Brian Derry and Starkey. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson Uderick, Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line, 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by the Foundation for a Better Life. While many rose up with violence, he sat down for peace. Mahatma Gandhi reached out with the strength he cultivated within his soul. So, pass it on from the Foundation for a Better Life at values.com. Today, mostly sunny with a high 84. Tonight, partly cloudy, low 66. Tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds and more humid, high 83. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Winds WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. 
Good morning, Tampa Bay. I am Jessica Ravelli, founder of Working Women of Tampa Bay, and I am filling in for Jamie Maloney this morning. Thanks to Jamie for this opportunity, and we hope he is feeling better and resting, but we're pretty sure that he's listening to the show and he's going to be texting Josh at any moment. We are here um, for Working Women Wednesday, and we are currently interviewing Sarah Bigham who is the founder of Fast Food Healing. And before the break, Sarah was telling us all about her 30 plus years of being a, a nutritionist and the journey she um, the journey she took to get here. We were uh, during her, the break. Her, her oh. journey to brilliance. Journey to brilliance. Yes. Oh, Thank see you, there. Josh. <laughs> Josh might need to be your marketing person. She's, she's, al- she's already scared the crap out of me. I mean, I can't even look at this bottle of water no more, nor can I use a lid on my coffee. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, let's explain that, Sarah, for those uh, who weren't here in the room. Tell us a little bit about the, the piece of information that, that scared Josh this morning. Um, I, I know. I, I'm just full of, you know, it's the bad news radio station here. But, um, <laughs> but here, here's the deal. Until we get more uh, mad um, and, and decide that, yeah, we're not supporting this kind of ridiculousness around our health, uh, so we've got to learn what's going on and what's what's in our best interest, which is not what food companies are doing. So we all grab that cup of coffee with that plastic cup on it. And that plastic cup, you are you are pouring an acidic and a strong acid of coffee through a thin plastic. Who heck who knows what's in that plastic? Uh, actually, we do know tons of petrochemicals. So you're pouring that down your throat along with your coffee. Take the lid off. And run around with your own mug, which is even better, because who knows what's in the cup. At any rate, the, the plastic is by far, you know, the most toxic. And bottled water, they take a piece of plastic about the size of your pinky, blow it up. It's red hot. And the minute it's blown up, they put the water in it. Hello. Yeah. So they've, they've analyzed bottled water. It's loaded with toxins. So if you're doing bottled water every day, every day, every day, this is what you've got to look for is what am I doing every day, every day, every day. If you're doing that all the time, you are loading your system with toxins. You yeah. just crushed Rick. I'm, uh, I'm I know. Watching Rick like, uh, <laughs> we're going to have to get Rick one of those, uh-huh. those special water bottles, those refillable Stan- water bottles. I think she said stainless steel, right? Yeah, stainless yeah steel. I've got my stainless steel water bottle. Um, I have a filter on my faucet at home. I fill up my bottle and I move on out. If it's going to be a long day, I take two of them. But stainless steel is pretty inert or, or glass. Um, you can get gla- uh, glass bottles or use an old juice bottle, whatever. But um, we're getting way too many petrochemicals. They're estrogenic, high women. You know, estrogenic gets into our breast tissue, and especially if your gut isn't good, and we can talk about why your gut isn't good, <laughs> um, you'll be building up toxins in your system. So none of this stuff happens all of a sudden. This is the result of day after day after day doing certain things to your body that brings it down. Yeah. So before the break, we were talking talking about you know as sm- a lot of small business owners entrepreneurs out there that listen to this show you know if, if you are not in tip-top shape and you're not feeling phenomenal every day it's really hard to run your business especially when running your business can some be sometimes be 12 14 16 hour days so you know a lot of times you hear a lot of small business owners complaining about not feeling well feeling exactly. tired exhausted fatigued that's not always because sleep deprivation it could be because of what they're eating right uh, completely I, you know, typically I run circles around 20 and 30 year olds who usually need naps. Um, I go until midnight and get up at six and go baby go. Um, and I have no problem with that. And that's like, a, you know, the 13th wonder now in our culture. Um, again, most 30 year olds feel like they need a nap after work. And this is exactly directly 100 percent related to what you're putting in your mouth. So if you're putting anything, it, it, it's it, You've got to just simply retool. And once you retool, um, it's just not hard. And I, I make sure to tell women that my life has never been anything other than incredibly busy. I was mostly a single mother raising my kids, always, always had my own business. Uh, so um, what I do is teach my PhD program, which is prioritize my health daily. It's a, never about time and it's never about money. It is always about priorities. So how are you prioritizing your food? Most women go, oh, I don't have time for breakfast. That's not true. You're not prioritizing. Yeah. Um, and beginning to get that, yeah, you've got to have food going in your own home. Uh, th- there's very little out there, truly, that you can eat. We just had, you know, the Tampa Bay Times just did a whole thing on on farm to table. And they're not telling the truth. Uh, and it's revealing, again, our food yeah. supply. Women, we have got tremendous 
power, all of you, not just women, guys, um, your power lies in what you're putting in your in your grocery basket. So let's talk about that. Good. What are some of the great things that you can load in your grocery basket that are going to make you feel good and okay. maybe give you some more energy? Beautiful. All right. Now I'm going to talk organic and people are like, oh, God, Sarah, seriously, you know, organic is so much more expensive. And I go, yeah, well, where do you want to put your money? Uh, you want to put your money in now into organic food or later into a ton of medical care, which we're about to blow out anyhow. We can't afford what's going on. Is it more expensive if you get it at the farmer's market, though? Absolutely. You can get to the farmer's market. You can grow your own garden on your lanai if you want in the, you know, the, the hydroponic little gardens that you can, that you can order. Uh, the bottom line is, no, I support organic farmers. And why do I support organic farmers? This is not just, oh you know, a lightweight decision. This is, we have now genetically modified plants so that they now produce their own pesticide. We're now throwing Roundup, which is called glyphosate, which is a highly toxic substance that, um, that causes gastrointestinal issues. It pokes holes in your intestine and in your brain. And with animals, within three generations, they're sterile. Are you listening? This is what we're doing to our food, and you're feeding your child. If there's anything with corn or soy in it, which is pretty much everything in the middle aisles of the supermarket, go home, if, or if you're at home, look on the labels, and if you see soy, corn, uh, you're, you're eating a genetically modified food, and that, after, year after year, remember I said, what are you doing every day, right. every day, every day? We now know that it causes all kinds of Oh, where's my list here? It's um, here we go. Gastrointestinal problems, accelerated aging, organ damage, dysfunctional regulation of cholesterol and insulin, right, uh, leading to diabetes, reproductive disorders, mice after three generations. You see, Monsanto says, oh, glyf glyphosate is fine, um, but they're they're studying animals within months. Now they do three generations of mice, and by the third generation, they're sterile. So how are we doing? I am not excited about that. So I buy organic. Okay, so organic. So we talked okay, about organic. So fill your, fill your basket with vegetables over and over and over again. The association of a high uh, plant-based food diet, small amounts of animal products, is associated with long life, hale and hearty. You go to, you go to places like Laos and Thailand where mo the mo think about their diet. It's a pile of vegetables with about right. one or two ounces of meat. These people don't know from cancer and heart disease. They don't see it. They don't. It, it doesn't exist. Yeah. Obesity doesn't exist. It, no, it doesn't. And you've watched it in China. If you if you lived as long as I have, um, you've watched what uh, what our fast food has done to the Chinese population. You've watched them just get absolutely obese. So these things are undermining our entire physiology. So we've got two minutes left before we go to the break. So tell me, so we talked about organic, we talked about vegetables. Tell me a little bit about the gut. What can we be doing? I mean, a lot of times, like you say, the gut is a big source of your immune system. Um, how can we be taking better you know, care of our gut and therefore feeling healthier and more energetic? Your gut's got about four to five pounds of uh, microbes, micro, you know, little bacteria in there running around. And I liken it to a city. It's kind of like uh, in a city, everything goes well as long as, because the good guys rule. Basically, everyone's ruly. Uh, <laughs> when you have uh, when when things break down and there's a riot, uh, that's when the bad guys start taking over. And it's just like and bacteria does the same. So, what causes the riot in our gut? Um, antibiotics. Okay. Uh, uh, one dose of antibiotics will have a profound effect. It basically clear cuts your gut from all bacteria, and it never quite grows back the same way. So, um, Wonderful. Well, before we go, t uh, tell us a little bit about how people can get a hold of you and, and how you can help them. Uh, give me a call at 813-321-5303 or Sarah at Fast Food Healing. And I do one-on-one. -on -one. I come to your kitchen. I spend a good hour and a half learning you, your lifestyle, and we tailor-make a, a plan for you to get healthy and the side effects are weight loss uh, loss of uh, all kinds of blood pressure medications and heart issues awesome. and all that good stuff and your children getting healthier wonderful they can, they can also visit your website right fastfoodhealing.com you there got you go. it all right thank you sarah from fast food healing up next we're going to speak with Haley almquist and this is uh that business show where show business where business becomes show business Hi, welcome to Yeager's. We just want to take a minute and show you what we're all about. Uh, at Yeager's, our primary business is hardwood flooring. 
although we are remodelers for kitchen, bath, and general construction. We operate a fleet of shop-at-home vans that have all the flooring-type products, hardwood flooring, laminate flooring, tile, stone, what have you. So we're able to come out first with products in our vehicles and take a look at the setting, how the colors will work, and then to be able to come up with some options and ideas for you. If that's not good enough, we have a large distribution center that we inventory product and have a nice display area. hundred websites and we'll have you live on air to talk one-on-one -on -one with him about your home to his audience. Contact him today at 813-760-8516 or email jamie at tampabayradio.com. From the Bright House Networks Traffic Center. Good morning, crash in Tampa on westbound Hillsborough Avenue at Himes. Also southbound I-75, overturned vehicle approaching Sun City Center Boulevard. That in the left-hand lane, also seeing delays in the northbound direction. Over in Pinellas County, crash at Starkey and Brian Derry. See traffic problems. Call the injury firm of Abrahamson Uteric. Hillsborough traffic tip line 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by Visit St. Pete Clearwater. Due for a staycation, they've got you covered with 35 miles of white sand beaches and emerald waters. Discover the best hotel deals of the season at springtothebeach.com. That's springtothebeach.com. 1250 Winds Weather Center forecast. Sunshine with a few scattered clouds today. Seasonable temperatures in the mid-80s. We'll see mid-60s for the low tomorrow. Pretty much the same forecast for Thursday. We'll see a bit of cloud cover and some rain on Friday. 30% chance. Tonight at 7 o'clock, Lightning Hockey Night on Impact Radio 1250 Winds WHNZ. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Winds WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. Good morning. This is Jessica Ravelli, founder of Working Women of Tampa Bay, and I am filling in for Jamie Maloney, who's at home resting and texting Josh at the same time. But we are very <laughs> thankful for uh, to for. Jamie giving us this opportunity to host Working Women Wednesday. We just finished up with Sarah from Fast Food Healing who gave us a dose of medicine this morning all about uh, organic food and why we should not be um, drinking out of those plastic water bottles or those plastic coffee cups. So thank you to Sarah for her passion on the topic. And um, she is a woman on a mission. I am. <laughs> I will not be surprised if I see her, you know, she's going to be spreading the message of wellness through Tampa. Tampa Bay. She's only been in Tampa Bay for sounds like about a year now. So and she's brilliant and, and fun she's, to listen to. And she's brilliant. Josh is Josh is going to be her new I'm her new fan. marketing person. I'm a fan. By the We've way, Jamie Josh. did text. He he texted you know it. <laughs> If that doesn't put the fear of God in you, I don't know what does. I'm yeah, scared. I, I, I am. I'm scared right don't now. Don't worry, well. Jamie. We won't sink the ship. No, no. We are steering the ship. And our second guest in studio is Haley Almquest with Hush Hush Little Baby. I mentioned um, in the beginning of Sarah's interview, she had a bunch of uh, letters after her name. You have a bunch of letters after your name, too. Tell us a little bit about your education and, and how you, you came to start your business. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I am a certified lactation counselor. I'm also an advanced newborn care specialist and postpartum doula. 
So all of those collectively help um, in terms of the overnight care role that I first started with. Um, I was working solo. Um, and before I knew it, I had more clients that I could serve, which is, you know, very flattering. Um, I now have 70 team members between D.C., um, Tampa, and Austin. So we have a great team of postpartum support that we provide um, new mothers, um, new fathers, um, typically in the night hours when we all need sleep. So what so. inspired you to get in? I mean, this is a very specific industry. I don't think I know anybody else yeah. who's in, in newborn care and overnight care. You know, what was it that sparked your interest and, and keeps you going? Yeah, it's definitely a niche market. I've always kind of been that child at every event who was like, can I hold your baby? Um, that was me. So I've always had an interest and a passion in caring for children. Um, and I just kind of found myself. I was always an infant nanny. I was a career nanny for 10 years. Um, did the whole travel the world, supported families. And then, um, you know, we just kind of found myself in, in newborn care. And um, wow. I had clients who just really needed the service. I started in D.C. where we have a lot of career moms, very short maternity leaves, high pressure to kind of be everything um single it's a dream for single moms for sure i know quite a few women that are single have no help at home something like this would be amazing for them yeah i had Seriously. just learned yeah i learned a statistic yesterday about you know for, uh, the amount of single moms mm -hmm. that are out there being you know they're they're the breadwinners and like like josh said i mean they're they're trying to run their families and their businesses or their ceos and their mm -hmm. jobs so tell me a little bit about the services you provide um and how you kind of take some you know and g give them some peace of mind and some sleep sure yeah so we pretty much provide services 24 hours a day whether that's somebody coming in at nine or ten at night to help during the night hours which i would say is the majority of our um, service we provide. We have daytime services where we do a lot of consultations, like education, things like you get home from the hospital, how do I bathe my baby? It's kind of a thing that you take for granted. So education components, we do a lot during the day, a lot of lactation advice. Um, and then we also do 24 around 24 hour care around the clock. So um, oh, wow. we were talking about earlier this morning, a lot of our um, mothers are waiting a little later in life to have babies, and so their parents are older, which means that support system that we naturally have um, isn't always there. So, um, yeah. So, tell me a little bit about you know why uh, a mom would choose overnight care. What's going it going on you know in their household that they would need a nanny to come in and help overnight? Yeah, there's a lot of reasons, and sometimes there doesn't have to be a specific reason either. It could just be um, you know, having somebody in the house to get some extra sleep is great. You don't have to be suffering from postpartum depression, although that is something that um, we help mothers get through. Um, sleep is very crucial to combating postpartum depression. Um, like I mentioned, not having outside support, no family in town, no friends in town. Um, Tampa is a very transient community, so there's lots of people in and out pretty quickly. Um, same for D.C., um, yeah, so there's not really one reason. It kind of is a cumulative um, reason. Do so, guys, oh, go I'm ahead, sorry. Josh. No, no, I was jump in. Say, do you guys handle daily activities like getting the kids to preschool? And what ages does this service, you know, become unneeded, like yeah. five years old and under? Or? Um, we serve even younger than that. We typically start day one home from the hospital, so we're the ones getting the call. Um, you know, baby will be here in the next 24 hours. We should be home and two days um, and we're typically there that first night that they arrive there's a lot of questions that happen that first night you come from you know typically a full hospital staff of nurses they can you know answer all your questions then you're home and it's kind of like now what do we do with this baby yeah. so we're there we're helping that that first couple of weeks um, and then from there we don't really have an end date but a lot of our services phase out around like six months but if a family needs services at six months of age we're there to support them through that so you're not like an at-home daycare center, basically? No, um, it's definitely, you know, one-on-one -on -one private care. Um, the specialists that come in are typically postpartum doulas, newborn care specialists, um, lactation counselors. So. so we were talking, you know, we were talking with Sarah about, about health and staying healthy, mm -hmm. especially when you're a small business owner. And there are so many moms that have that dual role of being an entrepreneur and a, and a small business owner and a mom. Um, talk to me about how your services help 
make sure that the mom stays healthy so the baby stays healthy? Yeah, so um, delivering a baby is no small feat. So those first two weeks, we like to say mom should really be resting. um, And that's kind of where we see a lot of our services. Um, Those first two weeks are really crucial, especially if a mother has a C-section. She definitely needs to, you know, stay off her feet. There's a lot of pressure to get up and get moving and get back to your um, pre-baby body. But all of that just needs to be put on hold. It's a lot of snuggle time with your baby. Um, and that's where, you know, we can come in and help with postpartum doula roles, like making a nice nutritious meal so mom can um, recover quickly and then sleep. I mean, everyone needs sleep to recover, even if you haven't had a baby. So, yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about, um, you know, just how you were talking about that you have RNs that come mm-hmm. in and what situations would an RN need to come in and, and, and provide services? Yeah. So sometimes we just have families who just want an RN um, and we can provide that. Um, sometimes it's just an added layer of security for a family, but other times we have um, premature babies. They're coming home earlier and earlier. Technology is wonderful and that, you know, a lot of babies can come home on apnea monitors. Um, so that's where an RN would step in and take over that role in, in monitoring the baby throughout the night. Um, so before the show started, we were talking about, you know, there's a, a sense that a woman needs to be superwoman, right? Super mm-hmm. mom. And so you've got women who are running these businesses or they're, they're high power, like, you know, your folks in DC who are in high powered, how high, pr- high pressured jobs. Um, there's a little bit of, I would wonder, are some of your clients feeling either a little insecure or we, we actually use the term shame mm-hmm. because they, they, you know, aren't necessarily being the ones to take care of their child. Do you, do you have to counsel them through that idea that, no, this is just a, an added support system and no, as women, we can't be, you can't do everything. Mm-hmm. We need to heal. We need to rest. You know, what are some of the things yeah. that you say to new moms to say, no, listen, we're here for you. We're here to support you. Yeah, I mean, I think that carries over even until now. I think we continually hold that guilt. I, you know, my son has a nanny and I, it still is, is um, you feel a little bit guilty. Like, I feel like I should be able to do it all, but I'm running a really huge company. And it's the same for our clients as well. Um, a lot of them are back to work after six weeks and they have this high pressure to perform. Um, you have to have sleep to perform, um, but there is a lot of counseling that comes in. And these are the things that we tell them. Um, if you don't take care of yourself, you can't do a good job you know, um, at your workplace and it's okay to need help. Um, I think that's something that we continually have to work through, even now myself, like we continually need help. It literally takes, um, you know, it a, takes a village. It does. It takes a village. And like I mentioned earlier, a lot of our families don't have um, support um, in town. They don't have, you know, their parents aren't in town. So um, we're kind of like that next best fill in for not having mom and dad in town. Do you help uh, getting the husband in shape too? So, you know, <laughs> yeah, like, absolutely. Hey, buddy, get off the couch. Absolutely. I mean, I would say a lot I'll, of the I'll education honest, is I could have used some of that motivation. I'll just be honest. You know, yeah. I'll, I mean, some dads are really into it. Others, you know, they're, they're not as much. They're typically scared. Yeah. They're going to hurt the baby or they just, you know, they're just, yeah. I mean, we have lots of education for dad too. Go ahead. Though. Say it. Guys are wimpy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, it reminds me of the book Lean In by Sheryl Sandberg. I mean, she had a whole chapter about you can't, you know, be it all, have it all, mm-hmm. unless you have a partner who is going to support you in that. Mm-hmm. And so education for dad when a little baby comes home is just important for, you know, education for mom, because it really is that family dynamic that that is going to make for, you know, the perfect situation to raise that little baby. So it sounds like you guys do a great job of making sure that both mom and dad have the tools and resources Mm -hmm. they need to have, number one, sleep, but um, healthy babies as well. Yeah, absolutely. I would agree. Wonderful. Well, we are, uh, we're going to go to break and up next, I think we're going to invite Sarah to come back in and talk a little bit about this topic about women, you know, wanting to have it all and we all need support systems. And it sounds, sounds like both, um, Haley and, uh, and Sarah are both helping women, you know, make sure that they stay healthy so they can have it all. So thanks so much. And we'll be back in just a few minutes. And this is uh, working women Wednesday on that business show. 
Savvy business owners utilize technology to connect with customers, communicate among teams, and collaborate with partners. Even with advances in technology, you all know it's not infallible. Where do you turn when your technology starts working against you? Who do you depend on to keep your team productive? Don't wait until your technology fails you. Get ahead of the crisis and contact the professionals at Alpha Computing Solutions so they can show you how to keep your technology running smoothly. Visit them online at www.alphacomputing.com. Com. Teresa Turner is a certified public accountant and the founder of Tax Happens, a boutique style CPA firm providing small businesses and individuals with hands on, personalized tax and accounting services. Although we would love to tell you how happy their clients are, we would like you to see for yourself. Tax Happens has 21 Google reviews and a 4.8 star Google rating, 17 Yelp reviews, and a 5 star Yelp rating, 38 Facebook reviews, and a 4.9 star Facebook rating. What sets Tax Happens apart is number one, upfront pricing, two, clear deadlines, three, personally available year round, and number four, a willingness to empower clients to do as much or as little as they desire. Visit TaxHappens.com for more information. Have you ever tried to buy a home for your family only to find out that you don't qualify for a mortgage loan? You thought that after 20 years as a customer of your bank, they would help you when you needed it the most, right? Unfortunately, the banks of today are not the banks of our parents and grandparents, and our relationships with them just don't matter anymore. My name is Frank Cotto, and I'm the president of the Lincoln Lending Group. We all may need a bank, but we also need a Frank, and that's what I'm here to do for you today. Lincoln Lending Group will waive all of your lending fees, which include your mortgage, application fee, your underwriting fee, processing fees, and any bank points. Just call 813-MORTGAGE. You drop the E, and we'll drop the fee. Tampa Bay weather is a roof killer. That's why when getting your roof done, you want it done right. Hi, I'm Jamie Maloney of That Business Show. When considering a new roof or repair, talk to Westfall Roofing. They've been installing high-quality roofs in Tampa Bay for over 25 years. Get a free, no-obligation estimate by calling 855-99-ROOFING. That's 855-99-ROOFING. Find out what already 15,000 satisfied customers already know. Call now, 855-99-ROOFING. In an age when the good and the better vie for attention, it is the best that stands out. The best of Tampa Bay from Proudly, Florida, is the love story for the city of Tampa. Celebrating success, sharing achievements, a tribute to enterprise and community spirit. Let Proudly, Florida showcase your business to your city, your nation, and the world. For more information, email info at ProudlyFlorida.com and be sure to visit ProudlyFlorida.com. Are you in need of new flooring or ready to tackle that home remodeling project? Then contact Jaeger & Company Incorporated, a family-owned, state-certified general contracting business with over 70 years of experience and the recipient of the Angie's List Super Service Award for the last eight years in multiple categories. Jaeger & Company comes to you with their shop-at-home flooring sales service and their hardwood flooring refinishing is the very best in the Bay. Kitchen and bath design featuring American-made, well-born cabinets and all work is done by employees, not subcontractors. Learn more at JaegerFlooring.com. If you've been following that business show on Facebook and Twitter, you may have noticed the quality of some of our images. That's because one of our sponsors is pro photographer Rick Taseda, a member of the Professional Photographers of America. You can view his extensive work by going to his website at RickTaseda.com or call him for an appointment to chat about your photography needs at 813-641-4757. That's 813-641-4757. 4757. Rick Tosseda Visuals. Call him for your next event or project. From the Bright House Networks Traffic Center. Hi, good morning. I expect delays in both directions of I-75 north of Sun City Center. Crash in the median involving an overturned vehicle. Also heading into downtown Tampa, you're going to find some delays on eastbound Kennedy near North Boulevard. And also after you cross over the river there in downtown Tampa, there was a crash near Ashley. Also, we've got a crash over in Pinellas County being cleared still on southbound McMullen Booth. Still slow approaching 580. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson Uteric. Hillsborough traffic tip line 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by Papa Lock. For your home, auto, or business security, call Papa Lock, the world's largest locksmith. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Call America's most trusted team of locksmiths. Papa Lock. Today, mostly sunny with a high 84. Tonight, partly cloudy, low 66. Tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds and more humid, high 83. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Winds WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. 
Good morning. This is Jessica Ravelli, founder of Working Women of Tampa Bay, on this Working Women Wednesday, filling in for the always amazing Jamie Maloney, who's resting home and uh, is recovering from a little cold. So we hope he feels better. We are uh, in studio this morning with Haley Almquist with Hush Hush Little Baby and Sarah Bingham with Fast Food Healing. And before we get to our conversation with the two of them, I wanted to check back in with Haley and say, for those uh, new moms out there or um, just, you know, just got pregnant, um, tell us a little bit about how they can reach out to you and at what point in their pregnancy um, or motherhood should they be reaching out to you? Yeah, absolutely. There's no um, perfect time, really. So as soon as a family knows they need support, whether that's, you know, three months pregnant, six months um, or after the baby's arrived, um we can pretty much do same day requests. So um, they can reach us by our website, hushhushlittlebaby.com, or um, give us a call, 202-600-1005. Um, and there's always somebody there to um, answer their call and get them set up with care. And you service both Tampa Bay and Washington, D.C. We do. Yeah, mm-hmm. so for, for those who are listening who have friends and family up in the D.C. area and want to provide support, one of the things you mentioned is that you know grandparents who aren't there to help uh, the mom and the dad in the very beginning um, will sometimes gift time. Tell me a little bit about yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. We do um, gift certificates and also registries. So we can add um, a family's um, registry great. to our website. You get your own unique link. You can add that link to your um, invitation for your baby shower, and then friends can contribute to your bank. So kind of nice way wow. to get some oh, what support instead gift. of a bunch One of, of just the best baby stuff. presents you could give <laughs> right so yeah, you want yeah. to be the hit of a baby shower give somebody the night of sleep amen yeah. Yeah. there Hallelujah. you go i like that the gift of sleep <laughs> yeah. i would like to give that to myself right? actually yeah <laughs> i need, I need a working women <laughs> registry <laughs> oh gosh yeah, uh, no that's a great that's a great idea we yeah it really is your service it really is sarah. you know sarah we were talking about taking care of yourself and this goes right in line with what haley's doing for new moms is helping moms moms learn how to take care of themselves and giving them some sleep. And that was a conversation that we were having before the show. I mean, talk about that need as women to take care of ourselves and put ourselves as priorities. You have got to. Um, it, it, running your own business and being a mom is like the Olympics 24-7. <laughs> and you have got to be in shape. So I have lived through everything you could imagine from divorce to uh, my daughter's father committing suicide, living through all that. When I am under a lot of stress, I tighten my diet even further than it already is because I know, we know, we've shown you have stress meters. When you're up at the top of the stress meter, your chances of getting sick are real good. So, but your body will not get sick if you love on it. And I am about love. Um, (laughs) And this is about loving on yourself. When I was a single woman, I had a single mom. I had a business that, that involved a whole lot of evening meetings. And I was homeschooling my daughter. And I said, you know what I really need is a house on wheels. And I thought, oh, son of a gun, that is an RV. So indeed, my one car was a small RV. So I had my kitchen. There's, there's the priority. I need my own food. What do you get on the road? Nothing good. So I had my own food, your own bathroom. That's the best for women. Um, but at any rate, I would tootle around at night. She could do her homework, go to bed. She was locked in into a home on wheels. And uh, we tootle around and then yeah. take her home. So it's about what is it that I need with my lifestyle? And then you've got to get really clear about priorities because, no, we can't do it all. Yeah. And uh, if you're having to get up and get out in the morning, then prioritize. And if you have to pay a bit more for food, uh, you can find women who are staying home, want to stay home, who love cooking whole foods. They can get food to you. When I was uh, 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 one of my phases of a working woman, I had uh, four other friends who were equally desperate for good food, and we'd, we'd trade off. I'd get home and run over. to. I had three friends, so it was homes A, B, C, and D. So I'd get home on Monday and run over to home A, and she has she will have cooked food. She'll have cooked the meat. Wow, what a great idea. Oh, so you're talking word. about co oping dinner. Yes, ma'am. And oh, you my, get to we go. need to bring that back. Oh, yeah, and you need to go. You know, so I'd go to my friend's house, eat dinner, and we'd always have leftovers so that I could take some for lunch the next day. 
and on and on. So uh, Tuesday, I go to House B. Thursday, maybe I'd cook. And, and it's more fun to cook for a whole bunch of people. Yeah, of course. You get, you get tired of your own food. So if you can find some people within your area or some people bring food to work and trade off there, there's yeah. all kinds of ways of doing it. But it's good food. Get Don't good you food. love that idea, Haley? Yeah, there's actually a company that just started in Tampa. I think it's Davenport. And it's run through Facebook. And she puts the menu up for the week. And you say, I would like Monday's menu. And it gets delivered. Delivered. And she uses nice. whole ingredients. All whole foods. Yeah. It's all and home cooking, organic. which is nice um, when you don't have that time to make like a homemade meal, but you want a healthy I, option. Absolutely. I'm going to call it dinner pool. Dinner like, pool. Forget carpool. Yeah. <laughs> We're bringing dinner back pool. dinner pool. I and love that. We have a on Davis Island, we have a Tasty Roots. That's the name of the takeout. It's organic. She is she is absolutely rabid about making sure that everything is organic and it's beautiful food. So, so you can order take out um and if you're a mom you can order ahead and get your food yeah okay last question for the day before we wrap up it's this idea of you know women super woman super mom you know what are we gonna what do we need to do as women as a gender to kind of battle back from that and say we can't do it all um and it's okay to hire a nutritionist yeah. Right. Or, uh, you know, uh, an postpartum overnight ca- yeah, mm-hmm. a postpartum counselor, an overnight nanny, cleaning lady. You know, we can't do it all, especially if we're trying to run companies and be moms or caregivers to seniors. Right. We have a lot of I'm, you know, my uh, my grandfather's turning 90 in a couple of months. And um, so we're all taking care of other folks in our family. What do we need to do as women to kind of be able to. Um, I think battle back from that superwoman mentality. Uh, one of the things that I'm constantly telling mothers is enlist your children. We're we're raised to say, oh, I have to do it all. I'll do the, all the laundry and all the cooking. Say, no, three, four, five year olds can be sitting there cho- chopping vegetables and they love it. And that's your activity. You get home, you pull out the vegetables, cut them up, honey. And is and the minute my kids could could clear the the washing machine, they were doing their own laundry. What does it take to wash your your food your clothes? Nothing. You teach them how to fold stuff so that you get home and you're all working together. You're not um, a babysitter for your children. You are the person that they look to on how to conduct your life. And so stop trying to do everything and prioritize. What is in your heart? And every woman is different. Some women are very clear. No, I need to work full time. Other women are like, oh, you know, part time would be just perfect. So then find that part time. Right, exactly. You're talking about a flex schedule, which exactly. is super. You're, he- you're hearing that as a trend right now, of women demanding that flex right. schedule. Right, and if you're working out of your home, you dang well better have. I had live-ins. Live-ins don't cost anything. For, for a free bedroom, for overhead, you can get 10 hours a, a week of just for 10 to 20 hours, depending on whether you're feeding them or not. That's a huge amount of time. Yeah. Huge. Imagine coming home and have, or imagine just having dinner done, dishes done. You can go out whenever you want. Mm-hmm. So, so you're talking organized. about delegating Absolutely. and finding resources, mm-hmm. which is exactly what, hey, yeah, fill us in on that, Haley. Yeah, I mean, that's the biggest thing I've learned. I'm a young entrepreneur, so I'm still definitely <laughs> learning. But delegating is something that I've really um, kind of taken to last year. Awesome. Um, I would rather spend that time with my son after I'm done working than, you know, doing laundry. So have somebody come in and help with, with laundry. It's okay. That exactly. Was the hard part. That's the lesson to today, right? It's okay, it's okay to okay. ask for help. Yes. All right. Thank you, Sarah Bingham, Thank you. Haley, Alm, uh, Haley Almquest. And uh, you're, uh, you've been listening to that business show where on this Working Women Wednesday. And uh, we look forward to hearing Jamie soon. We hope he gets better. So thanks, everyone. And we'll see you tomorrow.